Now, how about we apply this dimensional analysis to butt math? We won't have solid numbers here for everything in this analysis. Maybe we need more fiber. Boo, I say. So we will be estimating to the best of our ability as we go along. Hmm. Interesting. This whole thing started at the beginning of the whole pandemic. And it's happening again. Why do people need so much toilet paper? Do I need so much toilet paper? Am I running out of toilet paper? I don't know. How much toilet paper do I need? Now, from watching his video, very interesting. But, pun intended, he forgot something. He forgot about just wiping your, your butt. There's other things you have to wipe too. So, let's talk a little bit about that. Let's try and calculate how much toilet paper is really needed for, say, a 90-day quarantine for both pooping and peeing. So let's head down to the studio to figure that out. All right, so we were just talking about some of the things with butt math. So let's also apply that to P math. And we're gonna do butt math and P math right now. And I have, I'm gonna step off to the side here and I'm gonna put up on the screen on the side over here. This is going to be my iPad at the moment and the iPad is showing what I'm going to be writing. So let's start with butt math. So I'm just gonna title this one, butt math, butt math. Okay, so when we're looking at the normal American household, we could say on average, it's about four people. This is also what Kyle Hill on his YouTube channel took was four people per household. So to start the terms of this equation, we're gonna do four over one because we have to multiply the amount per person times four for a household of four people. So that's the start of this. And next, what we're going to do is multiply that by the average person, I don't know about you, but I would say maybe about two poops per day. Two poop per one day. So that's the ratio of the amount of poops per day, which according to this is going to be two times four. So that's eight poops are happening in one day. All right, so next we have to start thinking about the amount of sheets of toilet paper. And I've taken an average from myself, which I believe is also just about what Kyle Hill on his channel did as well. And I'm going to say 10 sheets of toilet paper per poop. So here, we're gonna do 10, one poop. So that's the amount of sheets per poop. Now we have to find out the amount of sheets per roll of toilet paper, because ultimately we're trying to find out how many rolls of toilet paper we need for the quarantine. So next, I'm going to take the last pack of toilet paper that I bought, it says, one roll of toilet paper is 400 sheets. There we go, 400 sheets. Okay, so we're getting there. And now we have to figure out per week because if we do per day, if the number's actually less than one, obviously we don't use one roll of toilet paper per day. So I'm gonna convert this to, day, to weeks. We have the amount in days, now we need the conversion to a week. So we're gonna have seven days per, and let's add the S there and make that the same. Seven days per one week. Okay, so that is the equation that we are going to need to solve for. And now we're gonna start canceling out units from the numerator and the denominator. So I can cancel out poop and poop, sheets and sheets, days and days. So that is going to leave me with four times two 
times 10 times, we're leaving units in here, so one row times seven. Canceling out units is just as important as canceling out numbers too. So that's our numerator. Then we're gonna need the denominator. So we have one times one times one times 400 times one week. There we go. So that is the units we're gonna have of rolls per week. So now, let's break out that calculator and do some little bit of math here. Gives me 560, that's rolls, plural, per, and let's do, that's one times everything except the 400. That's 400 weeks. So 560 rolls over 400 weeks. We're not gonna need 400 weeks. That is a very long time. So we're gonna do 560 divided by 400. And that equals 1.4 rolls per week. There we go. All right, so that's the amount of toilet paper an average household of four uses per week for pooping. You might think 1.4, that's very small. I use a lot more toilet paper than that. That's because we're not counting peeing. So this is just butt math for butt wipes. Next, what we're gonna have to calculate is peeing. And now this is a little bit more tricky because it's very gender specific. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add a new layer. And now we're gonna start talking about Hashtag P math. So now this is going to be a little bit tricky because most guys do not use toilet paper when they're peeing. So this is going to come down to the women in the household. So for this, I'm assuming no guys are peeing in the household. I know that's not 100% true, but most guys don't use toilet paper when peeing. So I'm gonna assume that for here. And that's an assumption that's gonna kind of fudge the numbers a little bit, but let's see how the math goes. Now I did look up on the uh, census.gov, the average, cause I looked for the amount of women per men or men per women in the US. And it actually is slightly on more women. So for our math, it's not gonna make a difference, but in terms of the hundreds of millions of people in the US, it does. So for this, we're gonna take into account 50.8% of the US is female, slightly more than half. For us, that 0.8% doesn't matter. So this is just gonna be 50%. So if we go back to our butt math from before where we were assuming four people per household. Now we're gonna change these numbers up a little bit and we're gonna take 50% of it for the women. So I am going to now kind of do the uh, very similar equation, except the beginning is going to change. So we're gonna start by taking two over one because we're trying to figure out instead of one person, two people on average per household or using a, a significant amount of toilet paper, times. Now, how many times do you pee per day? I took five. I actually looked at myself, my, uh, my girlfriend, my family, and I tried to see, all right, how many times per day? And I was kind of like, five. Five sounds like a safe number. So five peas, five p per one day, or days. We'll leave that plural because that's gonna be needed. Next, we're going to assume the same thing. Now, this is where Kyle Hill did not actually go into peeing, but I'm gonna assume, and I asked, essentially, uh, about the same thing as pooping. So that was 10 sheets per pee, 10 sheets per poop. So then we have times 10 sheets per one pee. Okay, so we're getting there. Then we're gonna do the same calculation for the toilet paper I have. 
which is one roll of toilet paper, is 400 sheets. Okay, and then we're going to do this per week as well, just to keep the, the, num the units the same. So this is going to do seven days per one week. Okay, there we go. So that is what we're going to do. And now we're going to start canceling out uh, units from the numerator and the denominator. So we have P, P, sheets, sheets, roll, oops, sorry, not roll, uh, days, days. So that's going to leave us here with two times five times 10 times one roll, because we're keeping these units in here, times seven over one times one times one times 400 times one week. And that equals, let's do a little math, grab that calculator again. And we're going to do 2 times 5 times 10 times 7 gives me 700 rolls over. And then I'm just going to do it out for you. We do 1 times 1 times 1 times 400 times 1. Obviously, I know that's 400. So that's 400 weeks. So 700 rolls of toilet paper used in 400 weeks. We're going to divide those two. So we get 700 divided by 400 gives me 1.75. 1.75, and that's rolls per week. Okay. There we go. We can get that back right about there. So here is P math that we are seeing now, and that's 1.75 rolls per week. If I bring back the other one, which is butt math, we're seeing here that we are at 1.4 rolls per week. Okay, so we figured out the amount of rolls per week for peeing. We figured out the amount of rolls per week for pooping here. Now we're going to add one more in here, which is going to combine these two and then find out finally how many rolls of toilet paper we need for, I'm going to assume, a 90-day quarantine. So here, I'm going to do hashtag but math plus hashtag p math. Okay, so now we have uh, but math equals 1.4 rolls per week. Hashtag P math equals 1.75 rolls per week. So now we're going to combine these two since the units are the same. Total equals, and we're going to do plus 1.4. So that is 1.4 plus 1.75 equals why did my calculator do that wrong? My head did it right. The calculator did it wrong. 1.4 plus 1.75 equals 3.15. That should have been there. Okay, good. That's why you always have to check your own math. So the total is 3.15 rolls per week combination. Because we can't round down and we have to round to the nearest whole roll, that means four. So four rolls of toilet paper per week is kind of an average. 
And here I'm just gonna keep it as 3.15. So that is the number right here. That's what we're going to use to figure out the amount of toilet paper you would need in a 90 day quarantine. Okay, so let's start doing this now. Quarantine toilet paper. Okay, so we have, we're gonna do that here, 3.15 rolls per one week. Now we're gonna have to convert that back to days, rolls per day, because we have a higher number now. So we're gonna do times seven, oops, one week is seven days. Okay, good. And that's what we're going to need and use that as one side of the equation because we're going to have an equation equal each other now. So we're going to equals X rolls over 60, oops, sorry, not 60, 90 days, 90 days. Okay. So now let's get the, uh, Left side of the equation, a little bit more concise. So we're gonna do 3.15 because we can cancel out week there. And this is using cross multiplication because it's on the same side. So that's 3.15 rolls over seven days. Now I'm not gonna do the math to figure that out just yet because we want to keep rolls per day. Rolls per day is the final unit that we want. So 3.15 rolls per seven days equals X rolls over 90 days. Okay, now we're gonna solve for X. So I'm gonna multiply this by 90 days on each side. Okay. 90 days cancels out 90 days, so we're going to be left with X rolls. And now here, days and days cancel each other out. And now we're going to do 90 times 3.15. So let's do that in the calculator. So we have 90 times 3.15 equals 283.5 divided by 7, 40.5. So that's what I have here. 40.5 equals X rolls. Or the other way around, X equals 40.5. All right. So according to this math here that I had the inspiration from Kyle Hill in his butt math episode, which I will have linked in the video below, or in the description below, for a 90 day quarantine, assuming pooping and peeing for an average household of four people, two men, two women, or female and male, we're gonna have 40.5 rolls of toilet paper needed in 90 days. So let's round that to a whole roll. 41, 41 rolls of toilet paper is what you're gonna need for a 90 day quarantine. So those that are stockpiling on 600, 1,000 rolls of toilet paper, you are creating an issue. So now that the math part's done, let's finish off the video over here. Well, very interesting. So based on that math of assuming both butt math and P math for a standard household of four people, and based on the U.S. Census, a 50-50 split, two men, two women, you only need about 41 rolls of toilet paper for a 90-day quarantine. Those, as I mentioned before, that are hoarding the 600 or 1,000 rolls of toilet paper, it's creating a problem, a stinkier problem than what's going on down there. So. 
That concludes this video. Thank you all for watching. It was very interesting to find Kyle's video and to kind of make some funny dimensional analysis mathematics video on how many rolls of toilet paper you need for a 90-day quarantine. So keep that in mind the next time you go shopping or the next time you're on the toilet like me right now. And with that, have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, everybody. This is meteorologist Andrew Pinero, and I will see you all in that next video.